Hey everyone, welcome back to another Inktober video. I'm Mangu, and this is day 7, Exhausted. This one is a little exciting because I get to introduce you to two of my original characters. So originally I was planning on just drawing someone exhausted in a chair, maybe after a long day of work, but then after thumbnailing it a few times, I kind of thought of my original characters. The one on the left is Corinne, and the one on the right is Usabel. Corinne is an arctic fox and Usabel is an angora rabbit. They're kind of contrasting characters, especially in the things that they enjoy. Corinne is a kind of an exhibitionist, if you will. She's always exercising to keep herself looking a certain way. Whereas Usabel is more calm and prefers to meditate if she does anything. She actually has an aversion to anything violent and strength building in general. These aren't my first original characters, but they're the ones I've been drawing the most nowadays. And more often than not, I don't really care for characters that have animal ears. Um, it's, it's not necessarily like something that I prefer. It just works for the story that they're in and is representative of their tribe or their race, so to speak at least for the history of the world they live in. I won't go too much into who they are as characters or their story right now. They kind of have their own story or world written specifically for them, and I might do a separate video for that depending on how well this channel does and if people are actually interested. Not to say that I won't write their story depending on the channel, but just whether or not I actually make a video of it. Usabel technically uh, has really long, fluffy, curly hair to go with her angora rabbit kind of background. But you can't really work out with as much hair as she has. And I didn't really plan out a hairstyle for her in the thumbnail. So it's just kind of piled on her head in kind of a, a braided, twisty bun thing. And I'm not really proud of how that came out. Don't, don't pay too much attention to that. I was mainly trying to focus on their poses, making them look like they were running, but uh, one being more confident and energetic, and the other sloppy and exhausted, but that they would still come across like they were still running. So Usabel is kind of hunched over and her hands are kind of flopping behind her. She looks haggard, um, at least I tried to make her look haggard. I tried to put some bags under her eyes and uh, her ears are usually standing, but she's too tired to even hold them upright right now. Corinne, however, has more of a natural running pose. You can kind of tell she's used to this. And at first I had them just running together, but eventually I thought it made more sense to have Corinne holding her hand or trying to help drag her along. So even though I have an anime style, or at least that's where it stems from, the style as a whole can tend to encourage noodle anatomy, uh, where the joints are round and smooth, as well as incorrect anatomy. That's what I'm trying to avoid here, and that's why I like adding definition to the joints in particular. I'm also not trying to fall victim to same face syndrome, and that's really easy to do. You get comfortable in drawing the same things over and over again, and when you're in the anime style, the eyes can be so detailed or just so difficult, or you're just trying to create eyes that look unique. This can be really easy to do. So I focus on details like noses and lip shape. Uh, for instance, Corinne has a wider, almost constant grin with her mouth, whereas Usabel has more of a puffy, pouty lip. However, there's this fine line to walk as it's still a cartoon style. Adding too much realism can detract from that. I like definition, but it often gets my style called wonky or strange, which is just a confidence booster. I'm not trying to attack anyone here, I'm just trying to make an observation of my own art and style. And uh, if you prefer to keep definition out of your style, that's cool, I'm not against it. I just prefer to keep my style more defined. I follow a lot of artists who don't draw anime. And this is just because I like looking at other styles. I find it more inspiring sometimes to look at things that are out of my element, and just to keep my mind open to other styles. And sometimes you can find things in other styles that influence yours in ways that you wouldn't have thought of before. So I tried bringing my camera super close to really show the inking process. I saw another inking video do that one time and I thought it was really satisfying to watch. Being able to see the ink lay down and a close-up of certain techniques being executed was really interesting. It made me really nervous though because I was holding the camera with one hand, inking Corinne's face with the other, and still trying to keep an eye on where the camera was pointing. Hopefully this is an enjoyable angle. I thought it might look neat instead of just watching everything happen at high speed. You can also see a bit better close-up of how I apply line weight. In general, I like to try to think of how two water droplets kind of like loop together. 
I don't know if that really makes sense, but I just like to think of how water kind of automatically jumps together when you put two droplets together. That's how I think of when I, I make two lines that get really close together. I'll put a little bit of an ink, almost like a triangle or something like that to show that they, they've connected there. So hopefully the part comes off well. I wanted to kind of break frame with the trees without having to go too much into detail with them. I'm not really the kind of person to draw each leaf individually, especially if that's not the focal point of the image. I have been trying to focus more on detailed lips, noses, and oddly enough, knees. I kind of like adding some definition to the kneecap lately for some reason. Usabel and Corinne contrast in body types as well as personalities. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Corinne is more defined in muscle. She's also taller, but I don't know if you can really see that with the perspective and with the uh, Usabal being hunched over. Usabal is more squishy in the midsection and generally more curvy. This is m more the nature of their personalities, what they do for a living, and their life views. I'm not just drawing them different just for the sake of being different, and I'm not just drawing Usabal thick just to get in with the thick craze and stuff like that. This is more representative of their characters. It was to show, to get an idea of who they are and uh, maybe even an idea of what they do or just to kind of let your imagination run wild with what they enjoy and what they, what they value in life. At a glance, without having to know anything about the characters, seeing anything written next to them, no bio or anything like that, I wanted you to kind of get an idea who they were just by looking at them. Ultimately, I just wanted my characters to be interesting. I don't know if that comes through in the characters, but that was definitely my intention. And really, there's only so much I can do with just this one picture, so I'm not expecting too much of their personalities to come through here, but hopefully you can get a good general idea of at least their active life. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble on. I really appreciate you stopping by. I'm uploading daily for the month of October, and there should be a playlist of the previous prompts if you check the annotation card, or there should be a playlist tab on my channel. Tomorrow's prompt is star. Hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.